was persuaded uh, David Houston originally, and uh, a lot of people had this out. George Jones that cut it, Conway Twitty, Merle Haggard, Hank Jr. Uh, a lot of people I uh, remember it by George Jones. Uh, Hank Jr. did a little different. I think he did a little upbeat version, changed it around a little bit uh, later on. And um, uh, anyway, it's a great song. Uh, this is kind of George and David's. Uh, David capos up one and plays. Uh, he plays it in G sharp uh, or A flat, whichever. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm not capoing up. I'm just gonna play it in G, and that's that's what George Jones did it in. Um, so anyway, it doesn't matter, really matter. I'm just telling you, you know what they did it in. Uh, as I said, there's so many different versions. There's no use, uh, you know, wasn't gonna try to figure all those out. Uh, but the G is pretty easy, to, you know, pretty easy key to play it in. There's a key change now. Uh, they go up just a half step. Okay, so uh, since we're doing it in G, uh, George goes up to G sharp. Okay. Uh, and then um, David, since he was already in G sharp, he goes up a half step, plays it in A. Okay, so what I'm doing is just to make it easier, not worry about capo, not worry about bar chords, any of that stuff. I'm just going from G and then I go to A. Okay, I'm going up a whole step when I do the key change. Now, you could do it even easier, make it even easier on yourself. Don't even do a key change. You don't have to do the key change. Uh, so, uh, anyway, that's just, uh, I'll, I'll give you, but I'm going to show you the key change. And then you can decide whether you want to do it or not. But like I said, be sure and check out the cover that I did on this. And you can follow along because uh, it's going to be in G, C, and D. And then we're going to change to uh, the key of A. It'll be A, D, and E. So let me show you these chords real quick. We'll jump right into this thing. Here's your G. And I may jump back and forth. Now, as, as I always say, you don't have to jump back and forth like I do. You play a G, whatever, however you're comfortable with it. And what you're used to playing it as. And don't try to change it, okay? Uh, so there's the G. I play that because I go to the C. Just a little quicker there for me. Uh, G, C, and D, okay, for the first uh, part of the song. And then there's also, I, I, I told you that was it, uh, there's actually a G7, okay? And that's another reason I play that G, is because I can, but you don't have to do that. You can still jump back and forth, it's not a big deal. And then, uh, so when we change keys and we're going to A, then we've got an A7. If you want to get that A with three fingers, you can do it that way and then just raise your middle finger. And that gets you the seventh chord. And then a D. And an E, okay. So we're using that D a couple of times there. Uh, so anyway, that's so there's eight chords all together, or uh, like I said, we're using that D twice, uh, but uh, uh, four chords per uh, um, part of the song. And, and really, uh, the like I said, the key change is only for the last. Uh, for, let's see, just a few lines there at the end, about six lines, I guess, because it does the chorus again. So it's actually a verse and a chorus and it. It changes. So it just starts out like this right here, just strumming. Last night, all alone, G7, in a ballroom seat. Pretty simple strumming, just, I'm just alternating. I'm in C, so I'm alternating the fifth, strumming down, up, and then fourth. Down, up, down, up, okay? I met a girl, G, with a drink. walk up there and you can do that if you'd like to it's kind of cool uh, I'm gonna be on the fourth string the D string and I'm grabbing I'm doing the open and I'm grabbing the B string which is we're, we're positioned on the uh, uh, D chord so my uh, 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 we're, we're grabbing that B on the third fret and of course open because I'm coming off of it then but Just walking down on the fourth string, the D string, uh, from the second to the fourth fret. So I'm just grabbing that B string. You can hear it. And then going to the G, okay? Now you can leave off the B if you want to. And just do the down up uh, on the fourth string open. So it's down up. I saw on the second fret and then grabbing it on the fourth fret and into the G. So you can do it that way too. I just, I, I, I switch it back and forth just depending on how well I'm feeling and what kind of mood I'm in at the time. That's the way I did it on this one, okay? Uh, she had ruby red lips, G7, coal C, black hair, got a G and eyes that would tempt D. Amen. I went 
back to the D there, and to be honest with you, on the song, I'm not sure if he goes back to the D in between the verses or not, but it felt good to me and I did it. Okay, so um, I recommend that uh, I did that walk up again and then going into the second, second verse. I honestly couldn't remember if that's the way he did it or not, but it felt good, sounded good, and I wanted to do it, so I did it. And, and that's why I recommend you do things how you want to do them, how you feel. Change it, make, make it your own, you know. Uh, you don't want to totally rewrite a song completely, but you know you don't have to play it exactly. Nobody plays it exact, so just do your do your own thing. Uh, all right, so then uh, we're going into the second verse. Then she came, and I'm gonna just talk this one. And sat down G seventh at my table to see. And then she placed G her soft hands in mine. D. I found G myself wanting G seventh to kiss her. C. For temptation, G was flowing deep like wine. And you could go back to the D there. I, he, I, I think I did that. Actually, I went back to the D. And I think he's doing that, but I don't, I don't know why I can't remember. But anyway, it, I like it. feels good. sounds good. Do it. Okay. I was almost G7. Persuaded C. Of my pride be. Here's our walk down, a walk up again, whichever walk down, what it walk up, whatever you want to call it, it don't matter. <laughs> Here we go. Almost G7, persuaded and see. To push G, my conscience D. I didn't do a walk down to the A, but you could kind of do that. So you could do, uh, if you wanted to, once you're, uh, after that chorus, my conscience aside. Well, let me get my, my getting the right tune here. Um, my conscience aside. Go to the A, and then you can do this walk down here on the open E string, sixth string, and you walk down same fret, second and fourth. So open, down up, then down up on the second fret, and then fourth fret once, and then grab that A. Okay, you can do that. Go to the A first, and then and then we go to the last verse here, uh, third verse. Then we danced, and she whispered a seventh. I need you, D. Take me away, A. From here, be my man, A. Or E, excuse me. Do that walk down again. There you go. Uh, let's see. Then I looked in her eyes, A7, and I saw D. Here we go. The reflection, A. I was all a seven most persuaded me to let a strange lips lead me on me. Then we go to the A again. Almost a seventh persuaded D. But your sweet love, A, made me stop. Uh, and, and I kind of do this slower. This kind of like George Jones does this. To e. Stop and go home. Uh, excuse me. So instead of going back to the A, it goes to the D. Then. And I end it that way. So here's the walk up to that one. It's open, open D string, four string. And we're grabbing the A string fourth fret to the second fret so it's kind of we're going backwards of how we did it and we're just doing one note each open D fourth string or fourth fret A second fret A and then open A just the whole chord I'll get a little frail shot there okay 
right. So that's it right there. That's the whole deal. Give you some little we'll walk down some of those things. You can use them in a lot of country songs uh, as well. Uh, so uh, take advantage of that. But anyway, great song. Just a fun song. It's a, it's a, just a good old country slow uh, sort of a three chord song. The <laughs> four chords, but it's got that seventh, that G seventh in there, which is is very cool and used in a lot of country songs. Appreciate y'all tuning in as always. Hope this was helpful to you. If you could give us a thumbs up on this, subscribe to us, check out our links down below, share us on social media, and check out our other uh, videos out on Fretmore. We'll see y'all in the next one. Like I say, be sure to check out the cover if you want to follow along with this song as well. We'll see you next time. Thanks.